Hey guys. Oh, where's your what chat? What is up, everybody? I don't know. Sometimes it takes a little bit for it to pop up, and sometimes it's messed up. Hello, hello. Are we live? Let me see. Yep, we're live. I'm going to have to pull up my phone because this chat deal ain't working Hey, Kristen. Again. Hey, Paula. Last week you did something at work. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with this chat. I see Judy on here. Let me minimize it. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Steven. Tina. Christopher. Creekside Maples. Christine. Nope. Hmm. I don't know what's wrong. I don't either. Crazy. You're just going to have to read it off of your phone. Okay. So, you sure you can't fix it? Nope. You did last week. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what I'm you did last week. With it. Okay. Thanks, guys, for joining us. We appreciate all of you for stopping in on a Thursday evening to spend some time with us. Hey, David. Okay, we're pretty much caught up. Your mom says, hello, kids. Dad's watching Setting Up. That's hello, cool. hello. Hey, Dad. So our father-in-law just had hip replacement surgery today. So him and my mother-in-law are watching from the hospital. Yep. So it went well. So yes. Hopefully all is well. Yeah. I'm okay. Not, I'm not gonna mess with that. I don't want to mess it up. I don't know why that is. So there. say a prayer for my father-in-law for a quick recovery, if you guys don't mind. He's kind of like Hercules, though. <laughs> or the well, he's more like the bionic man now. Yeah. He's <clears throat> had a lot of surgeries and replacements and all kinds of stuff bless his heart living simple homestead and outdoors glad to hear it went well hey karen are all of you guys hey linda throughout the country putting up with this humidity like we are here <laughs> in oklahoma it is terrible hey jackie we went from like days in the 70s and low 80s to mid 90s now in the humidity it's levels. miserable 70 80 percent miserable Big time. Yep. And, hey, uh, Teresa. Yesterday, Rachel. Hey, Mark. Gave, hey, Lisa. Gave Mojo a haircut. She didn't shave his back or shave anything, like shave all his hair off, but she kind of trimmed him up a little bit and then shaved his belly and all the stuff that's kind of protected from the sun. Not to his skin. I didn't yeah. shave to his skin. So he looks like a different dog, though. I'll tell you that. He does. So, uh, he looks like about half the dog. <laughs> <laughs> you got a whole, whole trash bag full of, uh, you got a trash bag full of, uh, dog hair. So before that I had combed him out with, I don't know what you call it, like an underbrush rake. And I got an entire trash bag full of hair. Well, yesterday I went out on the back porch and he was just like panting and, he was absolutely miserable. It was so hot yesterday. It's bad. I mean, bad, bad. So I thought I dropped what I was doing and I went and I got the clippers and it took me three different sets of clippers to find one that would cut through his hair. So yeah, I trimmed all his underbelly, his backside around his neck. <laughs> and what's there? It's just fat rolls. It still looks like he has a lot of hair, but it's his fat rolls. It's so funny. And I did everything but his back, really. But I think he feels better. Yeah. It's still super hot. All the dogs yeah. are miserable outside, but they got shade and all that. Um, Chad hey, with Adler Farms is in here. Thank you for stopping in. Hey, Chad. <clears throat> hey, Paula. Thank you. Thank you all for stopping in and uh, spending your Thursday evening with us. An hour tonight, I guess. Yes. Maybe um, Crazy Homestead. Hello. Buddy hello. says smash that thumbs up. Thank you, buddy. So let me ask, do we got any uh, softball fans? Did any of you guys watch the softball college world series today, the final game? If you didn't, I'll give you one guess who won the championship. <laughs> hint, hint. Kevin's hat. <laughs> It was a great, great, great game. Yeah, it was a good game. Both great teams. Hey, Steven. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Nikki. 
Sandra, <laughs> Brenda, so and Ida. Hey, Ida. The chat's messed up here on our laptop, but um, we both got our phones out because that's the only way we can read the yeah, chat. So sorry, bear with guys. us if we're not staring into the camera. <laughs> Paula, no, it was not. It was, uh, what was it, Florida? Florida, Florida State, State and Oklahoma. Versus Oklahoma. And Florida State was the 10th ranked team and Oklahoma was number one. And they had to fight all the way from the yeah. loser's bracket back to the winner's bracket. Both teams did. Yeah. They both lost their first game of the whole tournament. But it was it was an amazing series. That's one of the main ones we watch. We yeah. don't watch a whole lot I would sports. rather – we were talking about this at work today because some people just won't watch softball, I guess. But a lot of us were saying how we'd rather watch college sports college softball than we would watch uh pro sports or pro baseball major yeah. league baseball or it's NFL. more exciting actually i don't even care about pro sports anymore i'm done hey catching up with the walkers hey guys hey walker Boomer Forum sooner fan. so if if you guys know us and the following long we're a house divided i am a usually an osu fan and he's an ou fan but when it comes to any oklahoma team I root for basically any Oklahoma yeah. team. Uh, we always want them to win, no doubt. Um, so, and I love OU sports almost just as, yep. probably more than I do OSU sports, but I'm just a loyal OSU fan. <laughs> I will never Thank switch. you, Karen Chalberg. Appreciate that. Oh, okay. Has anybody watched the new Loki series? I tried on, to watch it last night. On Disney Plus. Tell me if you've watched the new Loki series. What's it called? Loki? I think it's called Loki. So. Yeah. He made a little visit to the town we live in. Salina, Oklahoma. It's actually in the Disney Loki series. <laughs> Caleb come downstairs and told me he watched it first thing yesterday. As soon as he got up, that's what he watched. He was so excited. Yeah. And he come down and he said, mom, it said Salina, Oklahoma, 1858 in Loki. And I'm like, you know, I just kind of disregarded it thinking well, there's no way. Well, then I seen it all over the internet. <laughs> I didn't watch it. Like I tried to watch that part and I fell asleep at that part. Did it actually show him coming here and then it just ended or what did it do? Yeah. Well, it, hold on. These people probably don't want to know if they haven't seen it yet. So don't spoil well, it. Well, it's no big deal. Don't I, spoil it. It's, but it's in, not a spoiler. In 1859, they were drilling uh, something of mine here for salt and actually hit an oil well or oil in 1859. So I wonder if that has something to do with well, it. Well, it had oil in it. I bet that's what it is. And they time traveled. But it, I mean, it didn't show the town or anything. Hmm. It just showed like a barn and it said Salina, Oklahoma, 1858 or something yeah. like that. Um, so a lot, of, so I've seen a few comments on here, people saying get Mojo a kiddie pool. And we've actually done that in the past and he does not want no part of it. Right when we got him. Now, whenever we take, um, whenever, I can't even talk, whenever Rachel takes the, the walks out in the big pasture with the, with the ponds and all that, I'm talking before I'm, my words ain't registering. When he, I, he walks with Rachel all the time. And uh, when they make their rounds around the pasture and all that, he comes back around and every time they stop by the pond, he stands in it and he cools off. Yes. So. He will actually, he only, he'll stand in the kiddie pools and sometimes he'll stand in the water troughs, but he, he won't actually just get in a pool. Um, right. We've tried. He just won't do it. Hey Gwen Moody. How are you doing? Hey Gwen. Hi Idaho Hoosier. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, if I've missed you. Hey, Samantha. Hey, Donna. Paula, is your garden taking off with this heat that's coming through? Hey, James. Cheryl. Let's see. Mindy. The humidity is 8% here in Nevada. Where I live, we could use some of your humidity. High desert is very dry. We're at 70 to 80% today. It is insanely just humid and hot and miserable we haven't even fed the livestock yet yesterday we fed them about this time last night about seven nobody even wanted to eat it was so hot the dogs the goats yeah. nobody so tonight we're going to wait closer till dark when the sun starts going down because the temperature drops quite a bit i fed it's it's 
It's it's so humid outside. It's like foggy. I've I've had Leesky this morning, and he wouldn't even touch his food. It's just too hot. And it was fairly early when I went out. Yeah, my mouth doesn't go as fast <laughs> as my brain either. It's crazy. Uh, so, no, he will not medley. He would not. He will not lay in the kiddie pool. No, nope. at all. I just try and make sure that. You know, I have fresh buckets of water all, all around over. the house, on the front porch even, um, wherever I can put fresh water. Because not only do we have Mojo running around, but we have tons of free range um, chickens and all kinds of other things running around here. So let's see. And then me and Mojo had an adventure. No, me and Caleb and Mojo had an we, adventure. We didn't. Put that in the video, did we? No, we did not. So, Caleb and I, what day was it, Caleb? Yesterday or day before? Yesterday. 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 I said, come on, Caleb, come do the chores with me. So, he went and did the chores, the morning chores with me. And I said, well, let's go for a walk. Let's. I've been walking every morning in the field with Mojo. I said, just go for a walk with me. So, we took off walking and um, <laughs> we'd come around to this part in the field. And I said, Caleb... You want to see this um, snake that me and your dad killed a couple days ago? So I went over and I was going to go and lift up this trough, an old trough, because that's where I thought the snake had went after we killed it, basically. Well, I wasn't paying no attention, and I walked and went to lift that thing up, and I was, like, standing right on the snake. <laughs> One day you're going to It was put not dead. It was not dead. I'm like, oh my gosh, I screamed bloody murder. And Caleb screamed and I'm no, I I, didn't. Oh, well the second time you did. Yeah, the second one we So snapped. I I went like 30 minutes trying to catch that snake and kill it and finally got it done. And then we went around the pasture and then Caleb almost stepped on another snake and we both screamed. <laughs> Have you tried a spray mister on a timer? No, we have not. I don't know if he actually likes getting sprayed with he water. He does not. I've he tried. Hates, he hates getting sprayed with water. But if you... We put the kitty pool out last year even, and he didn't want no part of it. Hi, guys. Y'all tell your papa hi. He's, hi, he's papa. recovering in the hospital. Hi, papa. He's watching right now. He just texted me a minute ago. Is he doing his surgery? He had it this morning. He's doing good. He hopefully get to come home tomorrow. Yep. Yay! If he don't, we're gonna <coughs> visit him in the hospital. If they'll let us in, I don't know. I hope. Gwen said hi, kids. Hi, everybody. I just lost a tooth. Again? Just, just a second. You better quit pulling your teeth. You're not gonna be able to eat. Davis Family Life. They said hi, Kaya. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, you need to quit pulling your teeth, baby. That's enough. That's like the fourth tooth she's pulled within the last couple weeks. Let me see. Kaime. Okay, yeah, okay, don't mess with no more. Where is your tooth? Don't mess with okay, no more. Okay, go wash your hands. All right, this cord's about to get on my nerves. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're missing your comments again. Hey, Nancy. Hey, right. Sandra. Hey, Donna. Francis and Deborah. Let's see. Here come the braces for her. She will be getting braces probably well, in a couple more years. Yeah, probably. The dentist orthodontist said he didn't know for sure about her yet, but Caleb's yeah. going to be getting his uh, next. The end of the month. End of, yeah, this month. It is June, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Um, we got a $20 super chat from oh, Barb towards Rachel's Barb. snake boot fund. <laughs> Thanks, Barb. <laughs> I have, I wear my rubber boots when I walk out in the field. And I told Kevin, I said, that's the fourth snake I've almost stepped on since I've been walking in the big field. Yeah, she's been doing her rounds with Mojo walking around the big field. And um, the grass is starting to grow up and all that. So you got to be very cautious now. Luckily, we haven't had any venomous snakes up here yet. <sighs> yeah, but that's I'm, scary. I'm just waiting to step <clears throat> on that copperhead. No. That's they are the hardest snakes to see. They're so camouflaged. They camouflage them with the environment so well. Hey Sam. They could be right in front of you and you would not even know. No, and I Kevin can point one out to me right in front of me and I still will never see it. I just I cannot Hey Sam, see I am. It. How are you doing, buddy? Let's see, Tracy. Hi all Hervey Bay, Queensland, Australia. Ooh. Cool. What kind of weather are you guys dealing with in Australia right now? 
What season is it? Is it? I don't have a clue. Grandma used her ice chopper to chop up copperheads. <laughs> Anything. Um, Cheryl Lynn says copperheads smell like cucumbers. Really? I never knew that. So we used to relocate all the snakes not that was all, here. All the not the venomous. No. But if it was not venomous, we would relocate it. I would actually catch it by hand and we would take it and relocate it. But we have had such a snake problem here in the last two years that we've had to start killing them. We don't like yeah. to kill them. They started wiping out our chickens and even our hens. They've killed few, a few of our hens, our full grown hens. And then if we have new baby goats, they're small enough. They're actually smaller than the mama hen and those snakes could swallow them too. So yeah. it's not worth, worth it. No. And they will give you a bad infection. Even if they're not venomous and you get bit by a snake, their mouth yeah. is nasty. So unfortunately that's what we've had to start doing. Cause it just got so out of control. And we're surrounded by hundreds of acres of woods, not our woods, but I mean, they have plenty of land. They don't need to. Yeah, come. there's there's uh, creeks all around yeah. us and ponds. And now right. we have seen hawks fly off with snakes a few times. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of funny when it, they do that. Yeah. Uh, the mister would be a good idea and hang it on top of the porch where he lays. It might work out really good and they're cheap. Davis family life. Never seen a snake. You've never seen a snake. And you've never and seen a snake up close? On your property? Never skins copperhead till the next day. The live snake baby's in there and still alive. Ugh, that's gross. <laughs> um, Barb see. says, hit the thumbs up, everybody. Let's see how many people we got in here. 675, and we only have 394 likes. Oh, wow. Give us a like on here if you guys Thank would. Thank you, guys. Hey, M. Pedmar. Hey, hey Sherry. M. Pedmar. Um, catching up with the walkers. There were no snakes in Alaska. I bet. <laughs> yeah, I guess there wouldn't be. They're they don't, hibernating. They don't, have, time. they don't have time to... Uh, warm up davis family life nope only in pics well they are hmm. really neat creatures to look at i suggest you go to the, at least a zoo yeah and, go to a zoo and you can hold one sometimes um i took the kids to the tulsa zoo a couple years ago and they had an amazing exhibit with a huge anaconda in it and that was really cool you remember that oh yeah that i mean it was huge we've never seen one of those it was it was Liz says, i have only seen garden snakes no ticks in Alaska either. Well, now I can see why people live in Alaska. Yep. But I would rather deal with all that than the freezing cold. Tracy says they come looking for water. Hmm. I don't know if they're doing that here because there is ponds and creeks all around us. Uh, $5 super chat from Sam I am. Get old-fashioned mothballs and put a few in your coops and around the barn. Snakes will... Swallow the mothballs, yeah. humane way to protect your animals. We've tried that. And we it, tried it, but I it think the goats were trying to eat them. Well, it didn't deter the black snakes, I'll tell you that for no, sure. No, it didn't work for black snakes. <laughs> it did when not they work. Swung, do, do they have poison on them? them? I don't think it kills them. It just, it, just want, it just wants to drive them away, like deter yeah, them. Yeah, like um, I think it keeps mice away too because of the scent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm not scared of snakes, but if I were to walk up and get stung by like a scorpion, I would freak out. Yeah. Scorpions, I am ab absolutely just terrified of them. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like centipedes or spiders. I don't, okay, I don't yeah, like centipedes. Scorpions are fine, but and snakes are kind I've of I've seen funny. many copperheads killed a little babies would grow up. How is the tick treatment you had on video, and is it work on fleas? Which one are you talking about, Kyle? The one for the dogs? The bug off, probably. Yeah. Is that the one you're talking about? Robert Hermson says, Kevin Dusty Baker at Cross Timber Bison Ranch uses the same garlic lick blocks as you got. Yeah, I've seen that. Those bison are cool. Ida says she has timber rattlesnakes in Massachusetts. Yes, the bug off. It, ha it has it has worked great. Like, it works better than I expected it would work. Chickens and guinea fowl can keep snakes away from the property. Um, our chickens do a bad job of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> they try and fend them off if they're 
after their nest. Yeah. But, uh, there's only so much they can do. Yeah. Um, Danielle's Duckhead Homestead. Love my hashtag Goat Boss shirt. Well, thank, thank you. you. We appreciate that. Yeah, I love mine too. I uh, wore mine to work today. It's pretty comfortable. Pure living for outdoors. Ida Brown, we have timber rattlers here in Oklahoma too. Yep. We got timber rattlers. I don't my know, brother pygmy has rattlers. those pygmy rattlers really bad. We got cotton mouse. I accidentally picked up a pygmy rattler once heads. at his house. Kyle <laughs> Randall says, does it work for fleas? Hmm. I would I would think so, but I don't remember. What, the bug off? Yeah, I'll have to check and see. Um, I think it works for anything like that. You can look on her website at wildlyblended.com, and it'll it'll tell you on there for sure. It, I didn't notice any fleas on there. No, he had no bugs on him whatsoever. Nope. Leesky's the only dog we're giving it to right now. Yeah. It's kind of the trial thing, and it's been working really well. He has yep. had maybe two ticks this, since we've had him on him, maybe. And that was in the very beginning when yeah. we first started the bug off, and it wasn't in a system yet. And he is right next to the really, really thick woods that yeah. is not uh, mowed or nothing at all. So there's tons of deer and squirrels coming and going all around him. So they're yeah. always dro dropping ticks. That's about the only field that the chickens really don't go in. Mm -hmm. Dang, fly. I've been killing flies um, for days. I was stung by a scorpion on back of my neck when I was a kid very painful I need the fly swatter i feel bad for you has anybody else been dealing with major flies the last few days i feel like that's all i've done yeah. is chase them every time you open the back door this i don't know if it's like the humidity or the heat or what kevin and i has been taking spray and spraying around the back door it's that bad and it only works for a couple hours patricia said hello kaya kaya done went in a room yeah <laughs> we have Blue Racer in Michigan. They get huge. Yeah, they're fast too. Yes. That one, that's what that one was yesterday. It was a Blue Racer. And it come back to chase me after I was chasing it. It turned Look around. That fly swatter up there. Can, yeah. Can you reach that fly swatter? Okay. Yeah. I can Thank you, it. Bubba. Yeah. Um, it turned around and it was going to get me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't hurt myself trying to. Chad Get says, away. I sprayed myself with the cattle fly, but they only want to be inside. Hmm. Wait, what? No, I sprayed myself with the cattle fly spray this morning before chores. Oh. How did that work, Chad? Let me see that thing. I better not land on my cup. Thank you. The gnats in Florida are a pain in the... Boomin' Idiot says, hey, hello, Caleb. Hello. Let's what see. type? I was just reading the comment. I done lost my No place. flies, but brown mice. Yeah, I don't like mice either. They get in vehicles and tractors and all that and eat your wires, and they're just a pain in the butt. So, <clears throat> Adventures with Taylor. Hey, Kevin and Rachel, what is wrong with Mojo? Mojo got a haircut because he was super miserable yesterday. He was, yes. like, panning so hard. So Rachel spent how many hours did you spend yesterday? I don't even know. It it made it about made me sick. She spent like at least four hours cutting and clipping Mojo. She kind of cut his back and all around his neck and stuff, but his whole underside, like under his neck, his belly, his legs, and all that, she shaved him pretty not all the way, but she shaved yeah. him really close. Not to the skin, but it's going to help him tremendously. I thought he was to the point of just like stroking out. It was that bad. It scared me. And he's, you can tell it made a big difference pretty, pretty quick. Yeah. Because, because... <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <clears throat> go ahead. I was reading comments. Go ahead. No, he, he felt, I think so much better because he actually got up and kind of ran around a little bit and that's not like him. No. Um, Aphids and spider mites are bad for me this year. We got scorpions in the house in summer in New Mexico. Yeah, we get them here too. We have done everything to try to keep them out, and somehow they still get in our house. What it's is it? Scorpions. Oh, my gosh. I killed a scorpion the size of my hand. No, in the didn't. Yes, no, I didn't. did. It wasn't the size of your hand. It, yes, it sure was. Yes, it was. It was that big. 
coming through your hallway scared me to death. I freaked out. Christine says, yeah, I get flies, but my dog catches them, yellow flies and gnats. Skeeter hates flies. He used to kill them at the windows if he could catch them in the windows, but yeah, he's. I think he's given up lately. There's been too many. Um, guys, sorry for missing your comments. If, if we're missing a question or something, just repost it on here. Um, Bloomin' Idiot says, I've been praying for Mojo. I hate to see an animal miserable. Yeah, luckily, Rachel had the time yesterday to give him that haircut, and I'm glad she did because he was getting what's – if you guys missed it earlier when we started this live, we're talking about it's finally in the 90s here in Oklahoma. It went from like 70s, 80s to 90s with super high humidity, and it's it's miserable. You can walk outside and you just start pouring sweat. So the dogs don't deal with it very well. Well, I just took the time. I didn't really. I mean, yeah, you just it's it's time consuming. You have to you, you have to commit to it because once you start, to. it just takes forever. Yeah, it was <clears> miserable. So Dutch got guineas. Will you too? Uh, I don't know. Probably not this year. I don't know. We haven't had, we haven't really had problems with ticks. This chickens we got have been doing awesome. We got baby chicks running around. We got mama chicks. I hatched out how many chickens? We got over 30 hatched out. I don't know how many still over there because they're free range. We've got a lot. Like we got a lot. Over 30 new chickens. Hopefully. Donna says, good day, Caleb. Hello. Hopefully. What do you, let's see. Skeeter is funny with his antics. I'm a big dog person, but Skeeter is bringing me around to smaller dogs. <laughs> Skeeter's hilarious. Bloomin' Idiot says, I check Salinas weather every day when I check my own. Y'all in the 90s for the next 10 days. Ugh. West Virginia in the 80s. I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah, I know it. Nancy <clears throat> says humidity is 89% here. Liz Reagan says, could you get him a kitty swimming pool to cool off? We have tried that and he don't want anything to do mm -hmm. with them. When we make our rounds in the morning, um, when we walk the pond, he'll get in, in the pond, you know, up to his yeah. belly. And that's hey, as far as he'll go. Show him your haircut. They want to see your haircut. He got a, he finally got a, a shorter haircut for summer. I yep. tried to adjust this while going his cord just hit me. Yep. And Kaya got her haircut three <sighs> inches off. Yeah. A big time haircut. I said, are you sure you want to go that short? She said, yep. I said, okay, <laughs> you're not going to be able to put it in a ponytail. She's like, I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember like five seconds later, she was like, wow, I can't really put it in a I ponytail. I really can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You didn't Hey, there's me? Desert Dog. I got nailed by a scorpion a few years ago back as big as one described. Hit my ankle over tennis shoe and now 20 years later still an indention pockmark and discolored, by the way. Oh 115 gosh. Fahrenheit here this weekend. Holy cow. See, that's why I'm terrified of them. I'd rather get snake bit than scorpion yeah. stung. So we went to from a cool, <laughs> rainy spring, like really cool. Now it's going to be super hot and dry. I can just imagine. Kaya, come show everybody your hair. Come here. Hey, book lover 620. Let's Nancy see. says, nice haircut. Thank you. Joanne Gannon. Hi. Hey, Hidden Hey, Hutch Jojo. Family. Happy mm -hmm. Thursday. I'm show everybody your, they wanted to see. I was telling them you got your haircut. It's not fixed. I don't even know if she's combed it today, to tell you the <laughs> truth. But she got a lot. Turn around. She got Yeah, it used whole, to be a lot longer. It was about like right here. Yeah. She loved it. <laughs> if you guys want to know an interesting fact, the reason why cotton mouths are called cotton mouths is because when you kiss them, it tastes like cotton candy. <laughs> That's not funny. Have you tested that theory? No. No, I just heard it off of the show. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> they're not. called cotton mouths because their mouths are pure white. Yeah, when they the open inside. their mouths. That's what I heard. Okay, I that's enough of before. that. We're not joking about stuff like that. <laughs> You're funny. Book Lover 620. So cute, Kaya. Nancy from Michigan. Thank you. Uh, I knew a scorpion once. I'm a Libra. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Looks thick and healthy, Kaya. Thank when, you. Hey, you're shaking that table, sis. Sorry. When do we get to see Mojo's haircut? See, uh, I thought it was a good joke, too, Caleb. We'll try okay. to get a video on it. We did not try to video yesterday. I got home from work, and Rachel was covered in hair. Mojo was done with it, and uh, it was so hot. I didn't want to make Rachel late to go take a shower or uh, 
Mojo didn't have to mess with it. He was done. It was too hot. I worked outside from daylight <clears throat> till dark last night. I was exhausted. And then I woke up with a splitting headache this morning. I was so sick. Yeah. Of course, I probably was dehydrated. But. Yeah. And then we, were, then we were watching the game two of the OU Florida State World yeah. Series. Oh, yeah. Night. They won two today. Yeah. yeah. We talked about it. Caleb, they liked your joke. They thought it was funny. I Love think that's what you call a bad dad joke. I don't. I don't tell jokes. <clears throat> you how, don't tell jokes. How can nope. dad jokes be bad if they're already bad? It says Frederick Nolan, sixty-five pounds. What is Rachel feeding Leesky? Um, what's the brand of food? Well, we're feeding him diamond. We got. I don't remember. It's a I'm newer being, type of diamond, like all natural. Yeah, this is a little bit different. But on top of the dry food. Uh, on top of the dry food, you're doing, we're feeding him twice a day. He gets about, I don't know, a couple cups of dry food. He gets a half a can of wet food. In the morning. And an egg every time. And then he gets the same thing in the evening. Yes. Now this morning I didn't feed him the can of food and the egg because it was so hot. And I thought, I yeah. don't know if he'll eat it because... You know, when you're so hot, it's like you might, that may have made him nauseous or yeah, something. Yeah, that's why we're going to wait until this evening when the sun starts going down and we get off this live. It'll be a lot cooler by then, and then hopefully the dogs will feel like eating. Yeah, I just gave him the, the dry food this morning. But we are still, we're not just trying to make him grow as fast as possible. Uh, we're giving him the recommended amount servings of food. You do not want a dog to outgrow... I don't know the terminology for it, but is it, is it their bone structure? Yes. You don't want to grow them so fast and give them so much protein that their they their bone structure grows too quick. And then that causes problems with their joints. Yes. So, I mean, you want to do it as the recommended. You don't want to just make the dog super huge, super quick. That's unhealthy for yeah. any any animal. Any animal, really. Um, Sandra Thomas here in northern Illinois. We have had 90s now for seven days, and it looks like there will be another five days of it. We are in a drought. We haven't had rain for a long time. Hey, Fowler Family Farm. Thank you, guys, for everybody that's joining us tonight. We appreciate you guys. There's almost 800 people in here. Susan says hello from cold Australia. So thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. It has been a super, super hot week so far. Nancy says, my schnauzer loves the kiddie pool. He lays down in the tr trick to get them to use the start as a puppy. Yeah. Mojo don't like them. No. Like I said, he'll just stand in it, and that's about it. When I get the water hose out, he actually takes off running. He does not want any part of getting wet on anybody else's terms but his own <laughs> right yep <laughs> but he will get in the pond the other day he got in the pond and almost didn't get out he got <laughs> in good. he got in and like sunk in the mud and he it went like past his belly and he was like oh my gosh you could see just the fright and he started doing this with his legs <laughs> i wish i would have had a camera Bloomin' idiot says rachel where did you get that pretty shirt i want to get one myself walmart <laughs> <laughs> a couple years ago. Oh, we got to do our mail call. Oh, yeah. Um, let's, let's see who sent us those, um, whatever you call them. Let's see. Kristen <clears throat> says, love from Maryland. Hey, Kristen Jones. Mojo is the boss. He, well, I don't know. I think Skeeter's the Skeeter's boss. Skeeter's pretty well the boss. He bosses Mojo around all the time. Yep. I think the cats are the boss, actually, because they boss everyone around. They do? Yeah. Hey, show what the signs. Getting? Go get your stuff and put that up. Uh, hey, uh, get those first. Okay. They didn't have a... We're going to do mail call. Okay. So whoever sent this to us, I don't know who sent if this was a subscriber or a friend or family. I have no idea because they sent it to our house and we don't post our physical address. But these are, I don't even know the name of these. These come from Precision Metal Art and 
Yeah. Those are for the garden and they're called garden gnomes. Yeah. Set like of two. Put these down in the garden. So flower bed, whatever you want to. And then I'm gonna put them. There's no there's no letter or nothing. Watch the chat and see if anybody okay. says anything. Got a chicken. It says I think it says welcome. Yep. And then we got a cool United States wow. cut out. And it says all gave some, some gave all. That's cool. That's cool. And then we got an Oklahoma cut out. What's that say? Uh, I showed them Thankful the wrong side. for my Oklahoma roots. Yep. That's I cool. love that. That's cool. So, so who thank you. Ever sent that? I don't know who sent that. We love that. That's <laughs> totally awesome. Very, very cool. It does not say who sent it at Hello, all. Hello, Sandra. But whoever sent it had our physical address. It didn't come to our P.O. box, so it could have only been a handful of people. What does the back of your shirt read, Rachel? What does it say? So it's God's love never fails. So you can get these at Walmart, guys. Seven ninety nine. No, Cheap. I don't know how much. They're not expensive. And I think they're called blessed blessed girl um, t shirts. In my Walmart, you can find them anyway. I don't know. Because get your stuff. I got up. a couple because I just I like them. And then let's see. Oh, did you even show Kaya that yet? I don't think you did because she'd be begging to do it. Oh, no. I haven't even showed Kaya this yet. So, let's see. Christine Buckland sent Kaya and myself some. Don't do that. Some fake. Well, they're not fake nails. They're like nail polish strips. She's going to love these. She is going to love those. And I'm not very good at nail painting and stuff like that. So this is going to be challenging for me. But she sent her several sets. So she's going to be super excited about Blue that. Blooming Idiot said that she sent those. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. What are they? <laughs> you heard mom then, talking. <laughs> boy, they okay. have, they okay. have okay. ears like... We're good. 23 minutes. Hot years. So. Okay, so that's for you. You can put these. What is it? No. It's put them nail polish strips. I don't know. What okay. Ooh, okay. candy. Then Linda Poorman over in, uh, well, I'm not going to say where she's from, but uh, she's not too far from here. She sent some sugar free chocolate and some more lifesavers. Thank, so thank you, Linda. So I love these things. And they don't affect my blood sugar. We yeah yeah he loves we all love those lifesavers yeah sugar free you can't go wrong with it now Thank if you, do, you, if you need idiot. too much sugar free candy it will hurt your stomach will it's it got sugar alcohol in it. I never and I then, never overdo them then that it didn't have a it didn't have a name on it uh, bloomin idiot said she sent all those metal signs okay thank you so much then we got a whole box of this uh, trident white chewing gum sugar free and I love this stuff did somebody send that. They did, but it didn't put. It didn't have a letter in it. Can there's, I, oh, there's that sun again. You want a lifesaver? No, I want a piece of that gum. Well, I didn't open it yet, so. Here, go get your stuff. Here, you have that. Here, there's a lifesaver. Thanks. All right. Um, comments. Hey, put those strawberries up, Bubba. Uh, I'm letting them fall out. Okay. Mm. Yeah. It says Fowler Family Farm. Don't eat too much. Yes. Do not eat too much sugar-free stuff. Karen, Rachel, your hair looks especially beautiful tonight, too. Kevin, do you have a new hairdo under your hat? No, I don't, Thank but you, I need one. I do need one. It's getting too hot to have long hair. I haven't even combed my hair today. I did right before we got on here. I haven't been down with a six. Donna night. Flanagan, a fourteen ninety nine super chat. Alpacas will eat the grass, then Rachel will see the snakes easier. <laughs> Thank mm. you, Donna. You guys are really you're you're trying you're trying hard, aren't you? They are trying hard. One of these days you might win. Are alpacas grazers? They are grazers. Or browsers. They are grazers. Yep. I think they might eat trees too. We used to have sheep that would take care of the grass along with the goats. But Kaya, what? With uh, Daisy. With Daisy, yes. Dang. I just had to get that popcorn. Well, you missed him. 
I'm telling you, the flies are ridiculous. I bought one of those little fly traps you get from the store, and it didn't it don't work. It didn't work at all. It didn't even catch one fly. So I don't know where it went. Okay, I, I got to redo it. this cord. Sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about that. I won't talk about it. So Dutch, right, Dutch and Brandy are doing something super exciting tonight. We're, um, they just sent us a picture, and so be looking out in the next. It'll probably be in the next two weeks, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Be looking for Anyways, his videos. Uh, try sticky traps. Hey, Sandy. Alpacas act as guardian dogs. They chase predators. Hmm. But do they eat the grass? <laughs> mm hmm. Ask Daniel. I think they kill snakes, they eat grass, and they keep coyotes away. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna ask Daniel myself. I'm not even gonna believe you of what you say. I don't, said. I don't want to get alpacas right now. Catching up with the walkers, $4.99 super chat for Kevin's alpaca fund. <laughs> Gary. Who's gonna get you. alpacas first? Us or the walkers? The walkers had <laughs> alpacas at one point. Yeah, but not on YouTube. That don't count. Well, it only counts if you have a YouTube channel. Um, Lumen Idiot hmm. says, didn't Kaya get her bracelet from me from Jared's? Did she get a bracelet? Not yet. I haven't seen one. Have not. Hey, Rachel and Kevin, what's up? All my kids got a haircut. Didn't you? <laughs> Even yeah. Mojo. Mojo. At least you don't need one yet. No, not yet. Um, it says junk froze. We're uh -oh. back. Okay, Michelle Pretty, please take the kids out for ice cream. Nineteen dollars oh. ninety nine cents super chat. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Sounds like alpacas are multi purpose. Cheryl says you could get an emu. You're back. Thanks, Paula. Paula says all junk froze. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. We just upgraded our internet too. So hey Tammy. Hey Danielle. Marcy. Okay, here is what I was trying to tell you the other day. Evans Family Homestead, hello. The sugar-free candy and gum that has xylitol in it will kill animals. One, supposedly one stick of sugar-free gum or just some other gums hmm. that don't even say sugar-free on it. If it has that xylitol in it, it will kill dogs. So a guy at work had one get really? into a gum, ate one piece, and it killed it. Wow. Well, I try so to always keep it up Any on kind of gum, don't ever leave it out or... Hmm. That's crazy. Barb says, Emmys are nicer to look at. <laughs> Donna, maybe alpacas eat flies as well. <laughs> That's That would be a plus. <laughs> they are horrible right now. Yes. And last year they were pretty bad, and I thought it was because we had those meat chickens out kind of in our backyard. It just must be the time of year. This year. Even at the barn. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Like, I thought they were bees swarming the other day, and it was flies. They're loud. It was re ridiculous. Sandra, one thing about alpacas, they spit at you. Yeah. I've seen them do that. I've seen alpacas fight also, yeah, they and can it's not mean. pleasant. <laughs> I like llamas better, said Barb. <laughs> llamas can be mean. They Maybe it was llamas mean. I seen fight. My friend, my friend's grandma had a whole herd of them. Jackie Sailor, one emu egg fed my family of six. Added a bit of milk to soften the taste. Hmm. How did you crack it? With a hammer? I want to get... Blooming Idiot says, that's why I always ask, because if you didn't get it, I need to find it. Yeah, we didn't get any... any uh, sorry bracelet. sorry about that. No, we didn't get it. Um, ostrich. I want to try an ostrich egg. I have ne That is one thing I've never had. M. Pedmar, you are correct. Make sure to tell the kids not to spit their gum out except in the trash. That is another yeah. way dogs can find it, even outside. And if they chew it or eat it, it will kill them. Yeah. Well, I usually buy the extra, but not sugar free. I don't think it has it in it. I need to look. That's this what might. That's, that's what me and the kids usually chew is the extra, the green kind, whatever that is. I would take flies over cicadas there everywhere right now. Dang. We don't have them here yet. This has sorbitol in it. I don't see the xylitol. So this is probably Okay, safe. Amy Ann Cox. Hey, guys, I figured since you were 
are trying to go all natural, do you all use anything for mosquitoes in the pond or on the ground? We have used numerous products, including lime, that didn't cut it. No, no, we have not. We haven't had a bad mosquito problem. Not horrible out of the norm anyways. No. Paula says, I'm harvesting garlic this weekend, y'all. So exciting. Awesome. That's awesome. I love fresh garlic. <laughs> when I say fresh, it's got to like cure and dry and all that for a little bit. Oh my gosh. Outlaw Annie. My son got bit by a snake last week in the edge of our woods. Wow. wow. Hope he's okay. Yeah, hopefully it wasn't a venomous snake. Teresa Shelton, if it kills dogs, what does it do to us? <laughs> yeah, I, that's a good question. Sam, I am. I'm waiting on a tie-dyed Hidden Heights Farm t-shirt option in your merch store. We need to get, we need to get uh, creative and start designing one. Yeah. Because several people said that. I love tie-dye. <laughs> Fowler Family Farm says, Sooner girls look good today. Yes. They sure they did. did. They were uh, on fire last night about the fifth inning, and then after that, they just never stopped, yeah. thankfully. Today was awesome, though. They were on it. That was fun. Gotta Thank run. You, Paula. Have a great evening, Michelle. Michelle. Thank you, Paula Wells. So Paula just shared a link to our merch on our website. This is one of the shirts we got. We just had them printed up a couple weeks ago. We got a few left. We are sold out of the mint color. We have a few of the blue heather color, and we have some of these left. I think mainly just extra large and a couple of odd sizes, but we don't have any of the larger or smaller sizes. So we've had a, several people say yes to tie dye, and then somebody suggested a pocket t-shirt. Kevin loves. I love pocket t-shirts. Okay, I love. So I just like t-shirts. I don't like the heavy. I like Carhartt shirts, but in the summertime, like now, I don't like the heavy, thick t-shirts. I love the pocket shirts, but I can only find like the Hanes and the Fruit of the Loom ones yeah. with the pockets that are that that are really thin and light for this type of weather, but they don't last very long. Hey Jennifer. Hey, Lotus. Hey, there's Barb again. You haven't you showed, haven't the, showed pigs the pigs in a while. Stay tuned. Yeah, stay we'll, tuned. We'll, we'll have, have a video update. coming out. The Crouch Ranch tie-dye is a great idea. Welcome to the live. Thank you for joining. Yep. Lynn Brown. They say the plant lemongrass keeps the biting bloodsuckers away. Yeah, I've heard that. The what does? Lemongrass. A yeah. lot of people will put it in pots by their front doors. But I've always said I'm going to do that every year, and I've never done it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm like, I need to do that, but I just never do it. I don't know why. Sam, I am. You have a sawmill make wooden coasters with burned Hidden Heights logo. So we'll have a video coming out real quick. Uh, Rachel and I spent a day, and we jumped on the sawmill and made some cool stuff. So yes. Stay tuned for that. We're going to get busy on the sawmill, hopefully. We say that all the time. I know. Now it's super hot. It's like we've got so much to do. It's just unreal. So let's see. Davis family. Oh, they were laughing at. All right, I got to catch up on these comments. I'm like. Doug wow. Stewart, where's Mojo? Mojo is in the shade somewhere. Um, today I got super worried because I could not find him. We have tried the pennies in water, right? We've tried I've tried it. It didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work, book lover. We've tried it. Maybe I just didn't do it right. That's a possibility. Blooming Idiot says, yeah, I would like to have one of your tie-dye shirts to go with my tie-dye Crocs. <laughs> I love like it. Rachel's. Me and the kids have tie-dye Crocs. We love them. Uh, Joydine says, cicadas, are you talking about the cricket type or the locust type? I think they're talking about the locust type. Probably the noisy ones. <laughs> James says, lemongrass and centronella grass are good for mosquitoes, but you can't find it in the southwest, Oklahoma, or north Texas. Huh. Hmm. I know. I keep thinking I need to. Does any of it deter flies? <laughs> How old is Mojo? Mojo is supposedly supposed to be four to five years old. Yes. Vicky. We've had him for, it'll be two years in August. Michelle says, how old is Mojo? He is. That's what I just read. Oh, you did? <laughs> I'm terrible about blocking you out. Yeah. What'd you just say? I said he'll be, we would have had him two years come August. He's four to five years old. And you said, yeah. You disagreed <laughs> with me. <laughs> My gosh, you are good at blocking me out. 
Yeah, I'm just getting senile or something. Okay. I don't know. <clears throat> so we got 10 minutes left. We need to read, focus on some comments. That's funny. Book Lover says it needs to be in the sun. The shining pennies do something wonky to their vision. Well, see, that's the problem. So do flamethrowers. What? Flamethrowers. What are you talking about? Do something. To their vision. It melts them. Oh, like you lost me there. That's probably the, the problem. I put the bag above our back door with the pennies in it, and the sun doesn't hit there because it's under. Tony Girl says, I have a lot of lemongrass all over and still have mosquitoes. <laughs> the crouch. Sam, ranch. I am. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. She said, she said, selective hearing comes with the marriage certificate, <laughs> especially yeah, after right. 17 years. It's like, I just don't listen. I guess. Yeah. Uh, Hollowell says, want to make hundreds of shirts. Sam, I am. What does that mean? I think they're wanting us to do tie-dye ourselves. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Amanda Boone, they fly and smack you in the head. Ha, ha. I got one stuck in my hair today. Oh, my. Becky, our cicadas are horrible here in Cincinnati. Can't wait for them to be gone. My yard smells like dead bodies. Oh, my gosh. Wow. We have never had them that bad. No, we haven't. But they do say that uh, copperheads eat them and they yes. hear them up in the trees and they'll actually go up and uh, come to where they're making their noises. What are those things, um, those bugs that you see in town that cover Jiffy Stop when it's Mayflies. Rolling? Mayflies. Yep. They hatch and uh, they, it's all oh, they're nasty. Oh, man. You those... can't even stop. So we live in a town that's right on the lake. So all our gas stations, the town's right next to the lake. And you cannot stop and pump gas. You got to hold your breath or they will fly yes. in your mouth. It is unreal. They just cover the businesses. They're great fish bait for perch. I've never tried them, though. Yeah, Chad just says, mayflies are good for fishing. They are, man. We always just caught whatever was in the grass, like grasshoppers or would get little... Crickets. Um, crickets. Worms. And, um, like we use bagworms. They were so bad at my grandpa's. Shirley Herman, hello from El Reno, Oklahoma. A fellow sooner. Aw, oh, Chris, thank you. Read what Chris says. I don't see it. Right yeah. here. Read that. Rachel, you're a lovely wife. <laughs> I haven't seen a better wife than you on YouTube. Well, thank you. You better agree with that. I didn't disagree. <laughs> <clears throat> Adler yeah. Farms says, as soon as the mayflies land on the water, throw your line in and hang on. Really? Blue idiot. That chicken I sent was supposed to have a good copper-like patina, but I didn't see it look to me. That's fine. I thought it did. Let me see. I thought it did. <clears throat> the chicken? Yeah. Um, uh, just come and drop like I'm digging. Yeah, out. I did. It kind of does, but it's more of a. It's hard to see. see. We hold it in the sunlight. Yeah, it kind of does. I think sunlight. it does. You can see it. I think it's sunshine through our window over there. I love Thank it. you. They're yeah, they're so cool. cute. I just had to figure out what I want to, where I want to put them all. Boy, that sun's like right. Yeah, it's it's six till eight, so oh my that's when it starts going down right here. We've got how many people in here? Seven hundred and seventy. Jason Thank says. Thank you, Jason Hunt. When the fly, when the mayflies hatch, it's time to go fishing at night for striper bass here in Tennessee. Ooh, that sounds fun. Let's see, guys. If we've missed your questions, <clears throat> please retype them. <laughs> yeah, we do need a we do need a curtain for that window, but that's the only window we don't have blinds on because yeah. it's a kitchen window, and that's why we uh, look out and. Spy on the goats. Michelle says, do you have a pest control company near you? Contact them and they will spray around the house. So scorpions and spiders. Yeah. Um, my pest control man is called Kevin Pritchett and he's right here. Yep. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell people my last name. Oh. They don't know it. Remember, you... remember it took like six years for people to, to know uh, Sean, Sean's name from Who's keeping Sean? it <laughs> <laughs> and I accidentally said it, and it was after Granger said it on his videos, and people's like, I can't believe oh you gosh. said his name. I did not know that was his name. Yeah, well, we're not hard to find. Fowler Family Farm. Kevin, was that Illinois River you guys were at the other day? Nope, that was the Grand River. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 
<laughs> Paula Wells says, Kevin, dude, they know your name. Come on, your mom is in here. <laughs> they don't your, know who my mom is. What's your Cherokee last name? Just don't start that. All right. What it, What would you like it to be? Nothing. Running bear, black bear? Stop. Donna Flanagan, do you have fly screens on your doors and windows? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we yeah, do. We have screens. <clears throat> I had to think a minute. I was like, what? Like, what is that? Yes. We okay, have five screens. minutes. <clears throat> Rachel, do you have any pickle juice in the house? Drink an ounce or two if you're dehydrated. Mm. I drank some pickle juice the other night. I, I usually dehydrated. don't drink pickle juice. I do because I was very hydrated. Like I said, it's so hot right now, hum humid. Uh, Gary's giving you the name. For? Catching up with the walkers. Where? I'm not seeing their comment. See. Right there. Gadugi means working together. That's not my last name. Oh. Well, I don't know. I can't read Cherokee. <laughs> I barely can say Lee's uh, name. Blooming it, it still doesn't look like the pictures where I bought it. Huh. I I think it's still beautiful. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you. Trish says, Kevin, if you're not going to get an alpaca or two, get a couple of camels. If, if I could find camels for a decent price around here, I would definitely buy camels and try them out. Yeah, just wait. Mm -mm. Just mm -hmm. wait. Nope. Oh, I won't get all packets because Rachel don't like them, but I do like camels. Do you think it's going to be easier for me to manage a camel than an alpaca? You can ride camels. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You can. Oh, don't need breakfast. Drop your phone there, slick. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, why? Why camels? Because they're cool. What are you going to do with them? <clears throat> Camels are mean. Hey, See? Kevin Rachel, it was in and out. Sorry, I had to head to bed early morning, but great live as always. Take care and God bless. Thank, thank you, you for stopping in. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate all 804 of you watching with us tonight. How about a few bison? If we had the facility and oh, the fencing man. for bison, I'd love to have bison. Kristen Erickson, I am told the weather is going to get hot around the U.S. It is already here. Uh, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, Texas, Oklahoma, it's here now. So, Cross Timbers Bison. I love watching his videos when he works the bison. Yeah. They are just they're giant. They're just beasts. They're ginormous. I mean, that really puts in perspective when they get them in the shoe. It's just how big they really are. All right, two minutes left, guys. You got a serious question. Let's hear it. Serious. We'll one. try to answer it and quit rambling. You don't have to be serious. People pay big money for camel milk. Uh, I don't think I want to milk a camel. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. Get a bunch of pygmies like Dutch got. Pygmies or guineas? I've got two brush eaters, seven year old <laughs> Paula. Boar. Can I have those garden signs? No. <laughs> they were a gift from Patricia. Uh, Leanne, how's the new dog? Leesky's doing awesome. We have a duck video coming too, so stay tuned for that. Fowler, big, big update on the ducks, right? Yes. Fowler Family Farm. Serious, seriously, what is your name in Cherokee? I don't, that's not a thing. I was kidding when I said that's that. That's not a thing, and it's actually disrespectful if people joke about that so you know uh if you were to say that to somebody a lot of the full blood that grow up in the full blood families and all that uh the elders that i know were actually given names from way back but nowadays they don't do that you don't get Indian names and stuff like that. I was kidding. I know you're kidding, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Like when people say, oh, my name is this and that, that's not that's not a thing that the actual Cherokee Nation or our Indian tribe recognizes. More like what clan? Yeah, it can be. And some most of it's just nicknames, you know. Um, well, if they take offense to my joke, lighten up. That's no, all I got to say. it's not that. It's just... It's more of like a nickname type thing. Okay, let's see. One of my duck hens just hatched over 14 ducklings today. Oh, my gosh. At least he has not had any fleas yet. The bug off, no. it might be working for fleas. It worked for ticks. <laughs> Paula, you're killing me. <laughs> Tammy, how 
Hey, for flies, get you some Irish Spring Original and hang it in a pretty lace bag, and then you won't have any more flies for real. Hmm. I'll have to get me a little bag. We have Irish Spring. Yeah. That's a good tip. I'm okay, gonna try so it. we have been on here for an hour. We have 817 people in here. Wow. 15 now. Thank you, guys. And it's time to leave. So uh, congratulations to the OU Sooner girls for winning the College World Series championship today. That, yep. was, that was a fun, exciting adventure for them. It was fun watching. And it was uh, exciting because, like I said, we don't watch pro sports anymore. So nope. go Sooners. But anyways, guys, we love you. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for spending you guys. an hour with us tonight on your Thursday night. You could be doing all kinds of other things. But you're here with us. We appreciate and, all um, of you guys yep. for sure. Thank you so much. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining in. Until next time, we'll have a video coming out Saturday morning. So stay tuned for yep. that. Yeah. Thanks for being a part of our HHS, HHF family. farm family. We appreciate all of you guys. <laughs> thank I you guys. Spit that out. We'll see you next Thanks, time. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend.